Hey guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning and we are off to the doctor. I have a doctor's appointment for the dermatologist. So we are going to get my face checked out and see what's going on. We just got back from, look at my big old welt. Yikes. Um, this is actually, well let me back up. There's a spot on my face right here and there's a couple other spots that I was extremely concerned about. So I went to the dermatologist today and what'd they say? They, they said, I don't remember. They said that everything looked good on my face and my body and everything except for this spot right here. So it is precancerous. And so they had to freeze it. And I was so scared out of my mind. Um, I was shaking. I was nervous. My palms were sweaty, weren't they? <laughs> so it feels like it's going to be okay. And she started crying. I'm like, stop it. Um, but, um, what they did was they just put a paper towel or a towel down here. And then they took nitro, the nitro, like we have at ice cream shop, nitro. nitrogen, nitro, yeah. and they froze it. And it stings like a bee sting for like maybe five seconds and then it stops stinging. And then I just noticed on my way here, um, cause we're driving to the store that it's been stinging a lot more. So this is what it looks like. Sorry if you don't like to look, um, but that's what it looks like. Uh, it just looks like a big old welt on my face. <laughs> so I'm going to wear it like, or I'm going to have it like this for a few days. And then she said it should crust up and then I'll, it, it'll look fine after that. So I'm so glad I went. So the only thing I can highly recommend to you guys, if you guys see a spot or you have unusual skin that has formed or a spot that has formed on your skin, go get it checked out because I did not realize this was cancerous, precancerous, sorry, it's not cancer, it's precancer. And if I were to wait, you know, she said I could have waited and I could have got cancer. So thank God. Um, we got it checked out today. So now we are off. Where are we going? We're pet going to the pet supermarket. It is storming out. It's not raining right now, but it was just a few minutes ago. I couldn't even see. So we stopped at the parking lot and we're going to go look at animals. If there's any animals in here. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, why are you so sweet? Why does nobody want to? <laughs> She wants to play. Yeah, she has claws. You gotta be careful. Say, I just want to play. Huh? You want this? No. What are you crying for? Because the kitty doesn't have a mommy. Sophie, it will get adopted. I promise. Okay. It will get adopted. Okay. <laughs> kitty in there and Sophia was so sad why were you so sad because it wouldn't get adopted because it's, it's not adopted. adopted yet but it will get adopted there was two other kitties in here the last time we were here and they got adopted quick right they're already gone so that's good news now we went by the um <laughs> we went by the hamsters and I have to tell you a little story so this one time Sophia was probably maybe a year and a half Allison gets off the bus we had a hamster named Carmel and Allison gets off the bus and she's like mom mom it's Carmel's birthday I'm so excited I made him a little hat she made like a little you know like horn horn hat or whatever and she made him balloons and she got all kinds of stuff for him she's like it's his birthday I'm like oh cool oh, wait, I know this Allison part. was five fours no Allison was like six or seven at the time your age at the time and then I remember this I remember this um we invited somebody over no no we let didn't. me finish telling this part of the story so um Yes, so Allison was like, yeah, yeah, it's, her, it's his birthday, I'm so excited. And Sophia's like, me hold, me hold, because that's, you know, she wasn't, she wasn't talking very much. I think she was probably maybe one. And she'd me hold, me hold, so Allison's like, all right, you can hold him for just a minute. So she was holding him and loving on him and stuff and just kissing him and just being so sweet to him. And then 
Allison's like, here, give it back to me. It's time to put him in its cage. And Sophia goes, no, and snatched him and grabbed him and squeezed him so tight and killed him. <laughs> it was so, I mean, it was horrible. It was not funny at all. It was so horrible. It was so sad. Allison brought me the hamster, put it in my lap, in my hand. I was like, mom, I don't know what she did, but she squeezed him and he's, he's just not moving. And I'm like, oh my God. And he was like twitching a little bit, which I know was so sad. He was twitching a little bit and then he ended up taking his last breath and passed away. So she, Allison was devastated, devastated, but we will never forget that little story. Um, Sophia killed her first hamster when she was two. But I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. She she had no clue. Not a clue that if you squeeze an animal, it would die. And we should have kept an eye on a little bit closer of an eye on you, right? So that was our mommy and daddy's fault and Allie's fault too. <laughs> For letting me hold it. Yes. All right. Let's go get Alice in it, and then we're gonna go to Smoothie King and get some smoothies with our friends. Uh huh. Now I'm mustache king. <laughs> she has a mustache. Literally the never ending train. It goes all the way back there. I mean, this is just ridiculous. It's the insane. Going like a thousand never times. ending train. Look at it. It's still going and going and going. It's all the way back there. Crazy. Hey guys, um, so we cannot go to the slushy thing because of the bad storm. But I just wanted to tell you something. On Roblox, if you do have it, my name is Sophbug123, and I was wondering if you guys would like to play with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Bye!